Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Gamma Die Gamma. So in this video, I'm gonna do something interesting. Uh, and you know, not many people know about this, but it is interesting without a doubt. So let's get started. Okay, so the, the, the method that we're gonna look at today is called the Dodgson the Dodgson condensation method and it's a method of calculating determinants actually. We just need to know a simple formula for calculating determinants by this condensation method. But the most important thing is this method was given by Reverend Charles Dodgson, who used the pen name Lewis Carroll. That's right. That Lewis Carroll. The same guy who basically wrote Alice in Wonderland and which has many poems and like it's it's a, it's a well known book. So I mean that guy, yeah, so this guy, he had many talents, it seems. Okay, so okay, coming back to the condensation method, we have we are talking about determinants, but the only formula we need to know, and we'll be using that again and again and again, is the determinant of a two by two matrix. So, say D is a two by two matrix, A B C D. The determinant of D is given by AD minus BC. So cross minus this cross. Let's do an example. Say D prime is uh, 5, 6, 7, 3. Let's calculate the determinant of D prime. 5 3s are 15 minus 7 6s are 42, which turns out to be, if I'm not wrong, negative 27. Okay, so we basically need to know this crisscross cross formula, and you'll see why or how, or how we build upon this. See you on next page. So, you know, let's move up a dimension. Let's consider a three by three matrix, call that C. So six, nine, 42, one, three, 62, one, seven, 300. Okay, so I, I told my roommate to give me like random numbers that to serve as elements for a three by three matrix. And this is what he gave me. Let's calculate the determinant of this guy with the, you know, the original technique, the, you know, cover up this row and this column, the cofactor method of which, which was first given by Laplace. So let's first do that with Laplace's method, because I'm sure you're most familiar with that. So it's six, the first entry here of the first row. Then cover, cover that column, cover this column and cover this row. We get this, these four entries and then basically do a two by two determinant of that guy. Minus one, 
then cover this this column and this row we have 942 7 and 300 as the entries that remain plus uh, we have a one again cover this column cover this row the entries that are left are 942 3 and 62 so this inner 2 by 2 determinant turns out to be 466 minus this inner determinant turns out to be 2406 plus this turns out to be 432 giving us 822 as the answer I mean this is let's say given now there's no dispute that this method doesn't work it works but now we since we know the correct answer we can verify with the new method so let me just clear this up and we can use the new method okay so now let's start with the condensation method okay so now we have c consider c uh you know I don't know. I, I don't know what, what, what we can call this. Maybe C step one. Take the same matrix, but make a grouping of four terms. So six, nine, one, three, make a group of them. Six, nine, one, three, put these like vertical lines to like sort of de denote some determinant. Then group these four, one, three and one, seven. We, it doesn't matter where, 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 whether we repeat 1, 3. We just need groupings of basically sort of 2 by 2 matrices in here. Then below we have 9, 42, 362 and similarly we have 362, 7, 300. These are the groupings. Now, we can treat these groupings as individual 2 by 2 determinants so we know the formula you know crisscross 6 3 are 18 minus 9 is a 9 this just turns out to be a 4 this is 432 and this guy is 466 that is c step 1 now for c step 2 do the same you know make a groupings make make a grouping of a uh, two by two matrix but the thing is this is already a true by two matrix so the only grouping you can make is itself but we have to divide this grouping by the the interior term two steps before step two so two steps before step two is step zero. Step zero is our original matrix C. The interior element is the element that is, you know, not lying on, on the edges. So, and there is only one interior element here. Three. Everything else is lying on the border. So divide by that. And if we calculate the determinant and divide by three, it turns out to be 822. You can check that with, you know, a calculator or something, but I, I don't want to waste your time. Now it's worth noting that if the, if the interior element is zero, if the interior element is zero, well, you can't divide by zero, then use, um, your elementary row operations of basically adding two rows or in most cases and, and this is the easiest one exchange rows so that you know the the row with the zero in the interior goes on top and becomes an exterior element and if the determinant is exists or is like not the matrix is non-singular this will work 
okay and and the thing is whenever you make partitions you have to divide by the interior element in the, in the c in the c step one case uh, the interior element would have been uh, the the interior element of the mate of the matrix two steps earlier so two steps before one negative one that doesn't make any sense so we only start dividing for uh, you know steps two or higher and as we move up dimensions you'll see exactly what i'm talking about so let's do a 4 by 4 case see you on a fresh page okay so i have in front of me a 4 by 4 matrix a okay so now a step 1 we make groupings of 2 by 2 matrices so 4 1 2 1 then if we repeat it, it's fine. 2, 1, 0, 2. And 0, 2, negative 3, 2. Then we have 1, 0, 1, negative 1. 1, negative 1. 2, 3. 2, 3, 2, negative 1. And at the bottom, uh, 0, 1, negative 1, 2 negative 1 2 3 5 3 5 negative 1 1 let's make these guys bigger okay um so calculating these individual determinants and again we we, we we don't need to divide these groupings individually by the interior elements because it's the element the interior elements are from two steps earlier and two steps earlier is a negative one and that doesn't make any sense okay so calculating this is two negative one one four five negative eleven six negative eight eight okay now when we again begin grouping again that is a step two again notice that as we make groupings and you know calculate the individual determinants and whatnot we you know we reduce dimensions so this was four by four after calculating after one step it became three by three and after this it will become a two by two you can notice that two negative one four five four five six negative eight negative one one five negative eleven 5, negative 11, negative 8, 8. But now, we need to divide by uh, the interior elements from two steps earlier. So two steps earlier, or two steps before 2 was 0, which is the original matrix itself. And the interior elements, note, I'm going to circle them, is one, are 1, 2, negative 1, and 3. So four interior elements and we divide, you know, each of these groupings consecutively by their respective interior elements. So, so this guy over here on the, the top left will get divided by the interior element of the top left here. That's one. Then similar, this guy will get divided by the interior element to the top right, which was two. And then the other guy will get divided by the interior element to the bottom left, which is negative one. And this guy will get divided by the interior element to the bottom right, which is three. And you know how beautifully notice that the, there are four interior elements and we have four groupings. So it fits because if you have more or less interior elements than groupings, which means you're doing something wrong. Okay, now, now calculate everything and divide by the respective numbers. We end up with uh, 14, negative 6, negative 31, and a negative 16. That's A step 2. Now A step 3 is just make a grouping again. But the it since it's already two by two, the only grouping we can make is itself. But 
remember to divide this guy this grouping which is itself basically by the interior element of two of the matrix two steps earlier so two steps before three is one so the interior element in a1 we need to divide the grouping by which is five and we ha exactly have one uh, one interior element so we divide by five and luckily none of the interior elements were zero so we don't need to do anything so four, negative 4 10 over 5 turns out to be negative 82 that is precisely the value of the determinant of a see i mean the it's condensation because we are basically reducing down you know dimensions dimensions uh just just applying the simple concept of uh, the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix by making these groupings but i mean fine 4 by 4 is still doable maybe uh you know using your laplace method let's do a 5 by 5 Let, let's actually grow up let's do a 5 by 5 see you on a fresh page so i have in front of me a terrible beast a 5 by 5 matrix that i happen to call b again you know just slow and steady wins the race b b step one making groupings four negative two two four two four three seven three seven nine negative seven nine negative seven nine negative seven and then below that negative two two four three four three seven eleven and if you want to pause the video and try it for yourself you can seven eleven negative seven one negative seven one negative seven one then below that we have uh, two one three one 3 1 2 11 sorry 3 1 11 2 um 11 2 1 negative 3 1 negative 3 1 negative 1 um 1 1 1 1 1 1 2 2 2 2 negative 3 0 negative 3 0 negative 1 1 ah. still you, you know we are happy there's, there's still no divisions because it's still step 1 ok this just simplifies to um, it becomes let's see 20 negative 14 negative 1 0 2 23 negative 5 0 negative 84 84 negative 35 6 0 0 2 and a negative 3 and it's a 4 by 4 matrix and th this is still step 1 Okay, for, for step two, groupings again. So the first grouping will go like 20, negative 14, 2, 23, 2, 23, negative 84, 84, negative 84, 84, 0, 0. We have negative 14, negative 1, 23, negative 5, um, 23, negative 5, 84, negative 35, 84, negative 35, 0, 2, 
and the last row negative one zero negative five zero negative five zero thirty five six negative thirty five six to negative three and now since we are at step two we need to divide each of these guys by the corresponding interior element two steps earlier so two steps earlier was b two minus two zero so b and with the interior element i'm going to circle again well it seems we have nine interior elements that corresponds to the nine entries of the three by three we got at step two so i'm just going to divide each of these guys so get divided by a four this guy by a seven this guy by a negative seven this guy by a three eleven one one two negative three and finally what we get at step two is a three by three matrix having entries 122 31 0 300 negative 35 negative 15 0 168 negative 31 time for step three first grouping 122 31 300 negative 35 second grouping 300 negative 35 0 168 31 0 negative 35 negative 15 negative 35 negative 15 168 negative 31 now we have to divide by the interior en entries two steps before step 3 so which is step 1 over here yeah so yeah for we have four interior elements corresponding to the four interior uh, four elements of the two by two matrix so this is divided by 23 this is divided by uh, 84 this is divided by a negative 5 this is divided by a negative 35 At, at step three, we have a two by two matrix negative 590, 93, 600, negative 103. Time for step four, and since this is a two by two, the only grouping possible is its own self. But don't forget to divide by the interior elements at. Uh, 4 minus 2, 2, step 2. And we have just 1 for the 1 grouping, which is negative 35. And finally, this turns out to be negative 142. You can check this with a Gauss Jordan elimination or our famed Laplace method, but believe me, you will die by the end of the Laplace method. And even row reduction of a 5 by 5 matrix isn't an ideal situation exactly i mean if these if if these divisions with you know like these prime numbers like 23 and like stuff like that if that if that doesn't go right then you know god save you <laughs> but you know we got a straightforward uh, integral answer so it, it was fine now the best part about today's video you know, since uh, Charles Dodson, a.k.a. Lewis Carroll was an author and, you know, a poet and like all the other things that writing includes. He wrote a very, very nice poem here. And the poem goes like this. I'm, I'm going to recite it. I often wondered when I cursed, often feared where I would be. Wondered where she'd yield her love. When I yield, so will she. I would her will be pitied. Cursed be love. She pitied me. Now, I give you, I give you like uh, five minutes, maybe. If you, you know, that includes pausing the video. Or just, you know, pause the video, take five minutes and look at this poem. Look at its structure. 
is there anything uh, weird you notice well i'm assuming by now you had the chance to you know look at look and analyze it this poem okay so the peculiar thing about the poem is if you put all the you know the 36 words in a 6 by 6 matrix this matrix is, is symmetric because if you transpose it it will remain the same to the effect that you know we read like this you know go from the left to the right and then change the line if you read like this up from top to bottom and then when you reach the bottom again go to the next column top to bottom if you read it that way it will read the same because it's a symmetric matrix i mean look at look at these two elements look at this and this this and it's 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 like it's like getting reflected ac across this main diagonal over here that's the best part about it it's a symmetric matrix at least the words of this poem form a symmetric matrix isn't isn't it fascinating i mean this is ingenious i mean this man he just applied mathematics everywhere even in literature this is fascinating now i would like to share something that i wrote you know an inspiration perhaps so this was what came came to my mind i'll recite it oft i dreamt in timely space i hugged her long and attended dreamt her in wild incurable flames in long wild passion burns love timely and incurable burns cover thee space attended flames love thee eternally and again if you if you notice if you put this put the words of this in a 6 by 6 matrix guess what they they are two uh, they are symmetric too so if you basically write this in a 6 by 6 matrix as i said the matrix symmetric again you can read it from top to bottom and then change column instead of you know going left to right and changing the row like we usually do and these are in incredibly hard to write i mean because if if you have like a difficult word or like a a word you can't start a sentence from especially you know these these border elements then it's then it gets really hard to you know come up with something but i don't know i just still this isn't this is as good as uh lewis carrolls but i i tried you know and in case you didn't hear me i've written this yeah that's right i'm a poet too i might you know have like a separate playlist about poetry or something you can if you request but yeah <laughs> so please like share and subscribe to my channel guys recommend me to your friends spread the word of gamma diagram in the math community i put a lot of work for this video and it's it's actually a a tricky job managing you uh, youtube creating and academics and like social life and like whatever so please you know i i i think i deserve more subscribers for this or likes at least you know my goal is 1000 so let's try to get there in the meantime stay home stay safe keep doing math and peace out